Hawaiian Coast. Brought to you in association with Pazurina Holiday Homes. Pazurina Holiday Homes, your gateway to owning a piece of coastal Kenya. Hello there, it's time for Eye on Coast once again. And today we train our cameras on tourism in the coast region. And let me begin by saying that I've learned that while the North Coast and South Coast share the same coastline, their tourism products are not the same. The North is known for what is known as meetings, incentives and conferences, that's MICE. And South is known for leisure market. So I got an opportunity to speak to stakeholders in the South to understand why their products and services are unique. When one mentions South Coast, what comes to your mind? Well, your guess is probably to the point as mine. But as I chat with Joan Dongu, the residences manager at Leopard Beach Resort and Spa in Diani, I get a much more clearer picture of why South Coast is different from the North Coast. So the needs of a business traveller and those of a leisure traveller are very different. Whereas a business traveller has is, is very keen on time because they are there to execute a certain agenda, a leisure tourist has a lot of time. So you'd find even our programmes, even the setup of our resorts and what we incorporate on our day-to-day -day activity has to blend within the needs of the leisure traveller. Still in Diani, we meet Jeff Mukolwe, the general manager at Baobab Beach Resort and Spa. He explains why Diani is the heartbeat of leisure tourism in South Coast. Well, D Diani is uh, one of Africa's, if not Africa's leading uh, beach destination. Beautiful uh, white sandy beaches, a beautiful destination with some of the best resorts uh, in Africa. Uh, we are actually standing at Africa's leading family resort, uh, which is the Baobab. And Diani has a lot to offer in terms of the activities that you have in Diani, in terms of the excursions that you have in Diani. Don't forget, we are sitting only a few kilometers from uh, the world famous uh, Shimba Hills uh, National Park. We are sitting not far away from uh, uh, Kisitem Punguti Marine Park, where we all go to watch the dolphins around Wasini Island. We are not far away from Charlie Island, only a few kilometers from Charlie Island. And you may be eager to know who comes to South Coast. Historically, the major source market has been German-speaking countries, but the domestic market has grown to about 50%, according to Joan who is also a board member representing the Kenya Association of Hotel Keepers and Caterers on the Diani Municipality Board. Over time, we started venturing into the emerging markets. So these are the Scandinavian countries and most recently, the Eastern Europe. However, we've also seen a great surge in local or domestic and regional tourists. So these are uh, tourists from within our country, Kenya, both Kenyan citizens or, or, peop or, or people residing in Kenya and of course regional markets such as Uganda, uh, Rwanda, Ethiopia, uh, a bit from Tanzania, Nigeria and Ghana. So we have seen a surge over the years in, that, in those particular markets. So right now the composition is a nice cosmopolitan mix uh, of people from different parts of the, of the world. Now you'll find that Certain numbers are likely to be higher because we are supported by charter flights. So countries that are able to secure charters, you'd find that their numbers are, are slightly more. But the awareness of Destination Diani as a brand right now is global. Key infrastructural projects like the expansion of the Ukunda Airport and the construction of the Mombasa Southern Bypass project commonly known as Dongokundu, are expected to boost tourism and investment in general in South Coast. 
Kwale County has been seen to be uh, very inaccessible because for you to access Kwale County, you'd have to come from the Mombasa direction, of course, but then you'd have to cross the ferry. So that road network no, just does not open up Kwale, but also opens the rest of the country to this access from Tanzania. But most importantly for us in tourism, you now have a situation where you have the train station, the Madaraka Express in Mombasa, you have Moy Airport in Mombasa bringing in international flights, and you can now access uh, Diani in about 30 minutes. So exciting times ahead for, for Kwale County. I know the Kenya Ports Authority have just opened the, the new cruise bath where cruise ships will be docking, and we hope to see a lot more cruise ships. Investors in the real estate are already taking advantage of the opening up of South Coast. Pazurina Holiday Homes in Diani, for example, is pitching the concept of holiday homes to investors amid expected demand for accommodation from local and international tourists. For those people who uh, think about investment, those people who think about uh, the future and of course building wealth, this is the time to take advantage of what is happening in Diani. Mm. The Dongo Kudu has been completed. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, I think, last week, yeah, they, we they, were able to see a vehicle closed in over. Mm. The bridge over the ocean, yes. uh, Likoni, that will now uh, enable motorists not to go into a ferry, but drive straight drive to Lunga straight Lunga, Lunga, to Lunga, Lunga. Uh -huh. And that has attracted so many Investors, uh, as we've been moving around, you've seen people building walls, mm. houses coming up. Mm -hmm. And uh, in a few minutes after this, uh, we'll be going to see what is uh, just next to us. Very big uh, mm. mansions coming up. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, this is uh, a sign that uh, Diani has woken up. Uh -huh. So uh, we are so excited uh -huh. because uh, even tourists will comfortably come down here. During the peak season towards the end of 2023, beach resorts in Diani were fully booked with most of them selling style, class, leisure and family ambience. Baobab Beach Resort, for example, and it has been in existence for over 40 years. We've got 300 rooms within the resort, okay, of different categories. And we've got a lot of unique features. I mean, as you look around the resort, the first thing that captures your attention is the fact that we sit in an indigenous uh, forest, you know, tropical forest. A lot of the trees you see around you are over 100 years old. So the resort was built in a forest uh, and was also built to preserve the forest, okay? So you see a lot of monkeys. We just saw uh, the endangered Colobus monkeys, the Sykes monkeys, baboons, you see dictics. So that in itself is a unique feature because Right next to the best beach, you also have uh, wildlife, which, which is very unique. We're also unique in the sense that we have one of the best, one of the best uh, entertainment of all resorts uh, in Kenya, and I dare say in Africa, because we have evening entertainment every day from a team that has the best choreography and the best uh, entertainment that you can find anywhere. And not just your usual uh, jumbo jumbo entertainment. I'm talking about some properly choreographed international standard entertainment. And over and above that, we are a three in one resort. So all the guests staying here can access the three different resorts, okay? Uh, three swimming pools, multiple FB outlets, restaurants and bars, uh, sports and games. Uh, amazing. You, you rarely get these types of resorts now in, uh, what, on the Kenyan coast. Think? Leopard Beach Resort is also a family-friendly resort. The one thing that makes us stand out is, despite being a brand that has been in the market for close over 30 years, we have progressively reinvented our product to attract the emerging tourists. We actually compete with new resorts, and that tells you something, that an emerging tourist will consider Leopard and a new resort. 
Um, I think that is the one secret about us that has kept us very relevant in the market space. We have a good following from both domestic, regional and the international market. And um, I think for me, the experience at Leopard Beach for any tourist is a memorable one in the sense that we have something for everyone. If you're a family and you're looking to, to take a family holiday, we have something for the entire family. You'd find especially seasons where we have a lot of family holidays and these are pegged towards the school holidays. We have a lot of multi-generational travel. And what I mean by that is we have the grandmother and the grandfather accompanied by their children and their grandchildren coming in. And you find that everybody finds something to do here at Leopard Beach. So I think that is the one thing that works for us. And if I look at it from a business perspective, if I was a travel agent and I would want to send my clients to a hotel where I know I am not likely to get uh, issues or clients are, are likely to have a good time, then that's the person I work with. And that's what we get from a lot of our distribution channels who are mainly the travel agents. And that's a peep into tourism in South Coast. For Eye on Coast, I'm Alex Chamwada.